Amazon is working on the first in a new chain of grocery stores set to open this year, looking to disrupt the $800 billion grocery industry. Amazon did provide a sneak peek, and it actually looks remarkably similar to a conventional supermarket. So let's bring in Brad Stone, who leads Bloomberg's global technology coverage. He joins us from San Francisco. That's kind of disappointing because we're so accustomed to thinking of Amazon as a disruptor. So I guess maybe let's take a step back first and, and just ask, why is Amazon even doing this? Because this is not Whole Foods and this is not the convenience go stores that Amazon has opened without uh, cashiers. Right. And then let me correct one thing that you said. Uh, Amazon did not provide this sneak peek. These are, uh, you know, oh. this sort of, sort of illicit spy photos uh, from something that's got coming. A sneak peek. And, okay. Yeah, that's right. And we don't quite know what. I mean, what we know is that Amazon seems to be about to open up maybe a half dozen or so, maybe more grocery stores in the LA area. We think there's one in Washington, D.C., we think there's one in Seattle. We don't know what they're going to call it. And uh, by all accounts, and if you look at some of these photos, they do look sort of conventional. Right now, wh why would Amazon do this? Well, you go back to 2017, they bought Whole Foods, they got 2.5% of, of the grocery industry, and it's remained, their physical store presence has remained basically flat. You know, And there's all sorts of inflexibilities that comes with owning Whole Foods. They don't want to stock Coke. They don't want to uh, stock Smucker's Jam. Um, and the software is sort of old and a combination of things that Whole Foods bought over the years. So there are good reasons that Amazon might want to start fresh. And in the photos that we have, it really does seem like while there are aspects of it that are conventional, they also are really doubling down on this kind of click and collect, order online, easy to pick up in the stores or for delivery providers to come pick groceries and deliver them to people's stores. So I yeah. think Amazon's kind of leaning to the future and trying to reinvent some aspects of the grocery store market. So, Brad, that's the part I'm interested in is this collect and delivery aspect of it because, I mean, one of the, sort of the big uh, sort of uh, issues that you see in uh, Whole Foods now is that there seems to be this war between regular shoppers like me and then, you know, the Prime and Instacart people who are clearly, you know, doing their uh, collection. Uh, is this new store going to find a balance between those two? Well, that's a great question, um, but, but let me put it in context. Um, you know, the, the grocery industry, 800 billion uh, around the world. Um, click uh, online grocery delivery, it's, it's single digits in the United States. And we know if you look at, you know, countries like India, you know, it's, it's, it's 15 plus percent. This is a, a, a market that's going to grow. So will they solve for some of the traffic and the overlap between pickers and, and regular store owners. Well, I mean, so from some of the photos, you see that the kind of aisles are sort of wide and they're giving uh, products plenty of space. You know, they also might fulfill some of these things. They could do it in the morning or at night before mm. the store opens. I'm sure Amazon has looked at this with a clean sheet of paper and said, you know, how can we support shoppers in the store and shoppers at home? Okay, so you talk about the growth potential. It's certainly there, and Amazon is always salivating at growth potential of different markets. But uh, analysts also say that Amazon's physical store options tend to be more experimental and not real uh, consistent money makers. Why overall are groceries so critical to Amazon's strategy? I mean, it is intent on this. It's a, it's a massive market. The, the customers repeat, as you know. We all buy food. We do it every week. Uh, you know, a kind of different rhythm maybe to the typical Amazon shopper. And when you look at their biggest competitor in retail, which is Walmart, you know, Walmart has a massive uh, business in, in groceries. It's the largest grocer in Northern America. And it is actually growing its online business. If you chart that ahead, groceries could be a kind of strategic vantage point by which Walmart kind of takes back e-commerce market share overall. Mm -hmm. um, and then, of course, Amazon's customers, you know, they're showing they want to shop for food online. And in fact, last year in October, Amazon went and made uh, uh, Prime, uh, Amazon Fresh. They've got a lot of names. It's hard to get them straight. <laughs> Amazon Fresh shipping free. So they killed the membership fee. So there's all sorts of ways that Amazon is trying to, after years, succeed in, in online food delivery and really slow down some of Walmart's momentum in this space.